Hello everyone, I'm Ranger Becca at Flathead Lake State Park. Welcome to another Forestry Friday. As many of you know, Montana has some amazing wildlife. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with our elk and our deer, bears, wolves, mooses. But have you heard about our amphibians? The climate of the Flathead watershed makes it a difficult place for these animals to survive because they are poikilotherms, or cold-blooded. These animals control their body temperatures behaviorally, using the sun and shade to keep themselves at an optimum temperature. The Flathead watershed is actually home to seven amphibian species. Amphibians have permeable skins, no claws, and their young typically spend their life cycle in a larval stage in ponds and streams. These are animals that can live on land and water, which is pretty cool. One of the more common amphibians though in the Flathead Valley is the Western Toad. Some people know it as the Boreal Toad. So the Western Toad, seen here, is on average three to five inches long, a dusty green color with a white or cream colored stripe down its back as you can see. It's covered with small round oval warts that range from green to red brown in color and are encircled in a darker color. Their glands secrete a milky substance that is toxic to predators. So when handled or threatened, they puff up and urinate and they emit a foul secretion from their warts. So it's best to leave these guys alone if you do find them. They live in areas with marshes, wet meadows, ponds, streams, lakes, and reservoirs in a number of elevations. They also eat a variety of insects, including ants, spiders, beetles, millipedes, earthworms, slugs, and even daddy long legs. Western toads spend the winter in hibernation below the frost line in the soil, which means they're often over four feet under the ground. The Western toad was once one of the most abundant amphibians in the Flathead, but is now listed as a species of concern in the state of Montana. So this means that the continued survival is at risk due to declining population, threats to their habitat, and other factors. Because they breathe through their skin, the western toad and amphibians in general are especially sensitive to air and water pollution. Additionally, habitat loss, ozone layer depletion, and infections caused by a fungus lead to a decrease in their populations. Because of their sensitivity to the environment, many scientists use amphibians as an indicator species, indicating the health of an environment by their presence. So if you're out exploring Montana and you come across one of these western toads, let it be and don't pick it up, then let the local non-game wildlife biologists know where you found it. Keeping track of amphibian habitats is critical to tracking the health of not just the toads, but also the wetland habitats that they and we depend on. Thank you for joining me on this totally cool Forestry Friday.